All right, everybody, thank you for joining. Uh, today we are testing every single mask on Amazon, which again, I think I bit off a little bit more than I could chew. Um, but to, uh, for this video, we're looking at the BioTH Bio disposable face mask. Uh, this is a giant hundred mask box. I've never seen a box like this for disposable face masks, but uh, excited to see what happens. It has three layers of filtering which is a lie because <laughs> two layers do not filter. That I do know, we make these masks. Uh, but let's see what BioTH has in store for us. You ready for this? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna... This way. Okay, three layers of filtering. So let's talk about that. Multi-layer filtering, spray layer filtration. What does that even mean? Is this supposed to be like milk blown? Like the, the marketing weird terms that these guys use, I just don't know. So this is a Chinese made mask uh, where most masks are made. Uh, and it looks like they're individually packaged. I kind of like that. Uh, these packs of 10 are great. Like you can put them in your purse. We've talked about that before. Yep. Fanny pack, whatever you want to call it. So let's go take a look at the kind of the structure of these. Here you go. So the airflow resistance is 151, which is right above where you want it to be. You really want it to be below 150. I wouldn't really recommend wearing this mask for longer than a couple of hours. This is not an eight hour mask. In our job, obviously we have to wear masks for eight, 12, 14 hours. Um, I wouldn't want to wear this for that long. This is pretty good. I could tell it's going to break if I go a little bit more, which it did, um, but that's pretty good. And this is a very affordable mask. This is a hundred masks for, uh, $15.98. It's a really great price. And to have the ear loops being pretty good like that, what's interesting is, uh, like I said, they said that the three layers of filtering, there are three layers to, to a typical mask. The first layer is to protect you from water droplets. The, uh, if you think about it, like the, the, the outer layers protect you from the world. The inner layer is to protect the world from you. But again, it's just filtering, it's just stopping water uh, from going in and out. Um, the center layer is the melt blunt layer. That's what's actually doing the filtration. So we're going to do a test here. This has a little bit of a smell, but it's not a terrible smell. Um, it's more in that new iPhone category of smells. Uh, it's, it's, I could tell it's not as breathable as a normal mask. But again, like if you were just going to use this to go in a grocery store, this is probably a pretty good mask. Um, if you're just going to have one, to have them in your car, they come in packs of 10 so you can you know, give them to people, stuff like that. If you were just running in a place, this is not a terrible mask. I would not wear this for more than a couple hours because of the breathability, uh, but the, uh, the smell isn't terrible and I like the individual packages. All right, but does it filter, right? That's the big question. So um, in the United States, the minimum standard for filtration is 95%. That's what this machine is made to test. And you want to find out more about this machine, by the way, I'm going to put a link below this video so you can learn more about it, but we're not going to get into details here. So the question is really hard to breathe through, very cheap mask. What do you think the efficiency is going to be? 88. 88. Yeah. 95.7. 95.774. That's pretty good. That's hitting the minimum standards in the United States. Again, that would be close to an ASTM level one mask. Um, personally, I'm looking for, if I was going to look for a mask on Amazon, I would look for an ASTM level two or an ASTM level three mask. That's what I'd be looking for. ASTM level three is going to be the highest level of uh, protection. So again, that's what I would go with. But I mean, if you are on a budget, this is actually, this is very close to that other budget mask that we, that we found. And I would put it in the same category, except the breathability is not very good. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, I hope you found this useful. If you decide to buy these masks or not buy these masks because of this video, I would ask one thing for you, for you to send me $1 million in unmarked non-consecutive bills. Leave it by the subway on Burnett. Okay, that's it, that's all I want. No, I'm kidding. Instead of a million dollars, just give me a like or a subscribe or both. That would be super helpful and I would appreciate it. Thanks very much and I will catch you at the next test.